M0FXB, welcome to my channel and connecting this MMDVM hotspot with the OSTAR operating system. So it's here, you can see it in the background, the FT70 is there, and I plugged it in and I waited about three or four minutes for it to boot and it's gone to this window here. So let's have a look at my Wi-Fi. So we'll just click where my Wi-Fi is here. And we'll look for O star. So mine is O star dash two three two. So my password should be O star at three two three two. So let's click it, connect, and when it asks for password, we're going to put in O S T A R at then it's three two three two and click next. And a bit of luck, this has all been put in for you before. So this is how you get into this thing so you can start now communicating with it. So it looks like we're there. Let's um, find out how we actually talk to it. So we've now put in 192.168.10.1 and we get to this page here. So now we're going to configure it. So we're going to select settings, root, and we'll just try login. There's no password yet. Now we'll put in our call sign, it's M0FXB, and our DMR number, 2341437, simplex, and then we'll leave the rest. Uh, the frequency we're going to use is, uh, actually we might leave it at 434-5000, yeah, I'll leave that. We could put in our location, maybe we'll do that later. We'll leave TX power, uh, multi hotspot, we'll leave that, modem, and we'll click save and apply. And we'll set the frequency on the radio to... <clears throat> for VM set the frequency to 434-4500 on the radio as well you can't see the radio at the moment so we'll click save and apply for that there's still no password we will put a password in eventually but at the moment let's see if we can get a digimode working Um, right, let's go to system radio. We'll select digi modes up here, like so, and then we'll just enable YSF and start up reflector. Let's choose, should we choose? Let's choose CQ UK. We've enabled it with a tick. We've got the frequency in. Uh, that's D star. We're not going to do that now. DMR, we could put our settings in. If we need to. The server I use is Brandmeister UK. Let's see if I can find that. Uh, la 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 la. Uh, it's T UK. Can't see that at the moment. 2341, it should be. There it is there, GB. Um, not asking for password. We're not going to enable DMR mode at the moment. We're just going to put that in. And on the D star, we probably use B here. Probably use B. Save and apply. And it should bring to life the um, Yesu FT70. You can see the... You, I know you can't see the radio at the moment. We'll do some separate video on that. Just let that apply. And uh, see what we come up with. This is the first time set up. So we'll just go overview for now. We don't have an IP address yet. But it's saying loading. 
No star. Right, let's just see if we can get the radio working. We'll learn how to put a password in. So what we'll do, we'll click system, administration, and we'll, we'll create a, a, a temporary password. Like so. So we now have a password. Save that as well. Well, we did set a password. I'm not sure why it hasn't done that. Try it again. RASP. There's one. Two, and then save. Alright, it says successful. Now, we're still not getting anything from the radio. Uh, la la la, powered by. Let's just key the mic on the radio. See what happens. M0FXB test, M0FXB test, M0FXB. Is my audio coming through? See if anyone gets that. We can see it's showing up. So that's how we've set it up so far. Another video to follow. Um, Bye for now. So now we go to travel mate and then we select wireless stations and this is where we're going to try and add something. So we'll go scan. See if we can add our our Wi-Fi. Repeat scan. Mercury. That looks good. That's me. Click add up link, put in the password word. <laughs> uh, we want SSSID, don't we? Uh, let's have a look now. We've just got to see where we put in our password. Is it here? Let's try it. Like so, what are you doing that? So click save. Click save, whatever. Well, the other ones we're not really using. So hopefully, it will link to that. See what we think. Right, so we did that, and we're now showing up in my, you know, my normal, I'm connected to the internet as normal, and it's showing up. So we're going to put in that IP address, 192.168.0.109, and we should now be able to get to the OSTAR configuration page. So we are connected, um, I don't have to use... My, the O star anymore, but we're still not getting any activity, so that's the next thing uh, is to get some activity. You can see it's TXing M0FXB, M0FXB, but we're not connecting to anything, so we'll just keep trying. Okay, well, with a bit of perseverance, it seems to have worked. So, we're getting some cut out here, but um, something's happening.